You need to think. Is not the earth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wasi'a? Is not the earth of Allah vast enough for you that you can migrate? That you can look and open your eyes and gauge which is the land that is best for me, where I can live, where I can take my family, where they will hear the adhan, where there is maybe a, even a small pocket of the of Salafis, Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Hadith, where I can practice my religion, where my children will not be taught that there is no difference between men and women, that there is no difference between a homosexual relationship and a heterosexual marriage. How do I protect myself and my children from that? Or is your only concern that I want a country that has the NHS? And I've actually heard this from individuals. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. I don't want to live in Pakistan. I don't want to live in Egypt. I don't want to live in Morocco. I don't want to live in Somalia. Why? Because they don't have an NHS like the British NHS. Look at the mentality. You are in more need of your deen and the protection of your religion from these fitan. Then you are in need of a dentist or an optician or a paracetamol or a panadol. You are more in need, Barakallahu Fikum, of saving your children and your future generations from corruption. And likewise, those lands, they need your skills. Invest your money with them rather than investing it with the unbelievers. This mentality that you find. That quite frankly, many of us fed up of hearing. Oh, those countries are corrupt. Oh, those countries that you find that you have to pay bribes. Oh, those countries, they're backwards. Oh, those countries, they're not developed. Oh, those countries, they don't have, you know, universities as good as France or Germany or Britain or America. Look at all the things that are said by the people as an excuse to continue living in amongst the kuffar. 